गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे फर्स्ट अप्रैल अप्रैल फोर वी विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर वन गाउस लॉ गाउस लॉ इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर व्हाट इज गाउस लॉ टू अंडरस्टैंड गाउस लॉ वी विल टेक वन एग्जाम्पल सी इट इज वन स्पीयर ऑफ रेडियस आर At its center, point charge Q is placed. Okay, a sphere of radius r at its center, charge Q is placed. We will find what is flux passing through surface of sphere. Okay, we will find what is flux passing through surface of this sphere. To find total flux, first of all, divide this surface of sphere in very very small elements. One such element is as shown in figure. Let its area is delta s. Area vector. Area vector is always perpendicular outside, normally outside. So its area vector is normally outside. Delta. Here. Okay, it is one element. Its area vector is normally outside. Okay, okay. Due to this point charge, electric field at this area element, electric field at this area element, it is point charge. Due to point charge, what is electric field? P e is equal to one upon four by epsilon zero q upon r square. Why not? Because this element is on surface, and its distance from the center is r. So it is one upon four by epsilon zero q upon r square. As it is positive charge, due to positive charge, electric field is radially outward. Radially outward. So due to this positive charge, electric field is radially outward. It is radially outward. Means electric field is also in this direction. Electric field is also in this direction. Okay, it is only for one element. Take one element. Its area delta s. Its area vector normally outside delta s. Electric field at this element e it is also in this direction. Means they both are in the same direction. Then see how to write. Divide the sphere into small elements as shown in figure. The flux through an area element delta s is delta phi is equal to e dot delta x. So do equation. What is flux phi is equal to e dot delta s. Delta phi is equal to q upon four pi epsilon zero r square electric field due to point charge. R carry it is unit vector in the direction of electric field. This direction. Delta s it is area. Okay. Now see from figure it is clear that e and delta s they are in same direction. From figure, the area between delta S and R they have same direction. Same direction means angle between them is zero, and cos zero is equal to one. So we can write delta phi is equal to q upon four pi epsilon zero r square and delta S. R carried is unit vector, so its value is one. Clear? Okay. It is the product. So how to write q upon four pi epsilon zero r square? Delta S cos theta. Theta is zero. Cos zero is equal to one. So delta phi is equal to pi upon four pi epsilon zero r square delta S. But it is flux passing from this element. To find total flux passing from the surface of sphere, you have to find flux for each and every element on surface. For each and every every element on surface. Now we take its action. See, the total flux through the surface is obtained by adding up flux through all the different elements, and therefore total flux phi is equal to sigma of all surface elements. Sigma of all surface elements. Q upon four by epsilon zero r square delta s. Clear? Okay. You have to find flux for each and every element. And add them. So, since each area element is at the same distance r from the charge, see each and every element, each and every element, each and every element, it is a distance r from 
the center. So q constant. 4 by epsilon 0 constant. R square is also constant. So q upon 4 by epsilon 0 R square. Sigma of all surface elements delta s. Now see delta s is delta s is area of element. Sigma of delta s means addition of surface area of each and every element. Area of this element plus 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 area of this element means total area of surface. What is total area of sphere? 4 pi r square. What is total area of surface of sphere? 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square. So pi is equal to q upon epsilon 0. Phi is equal to q upon epsilon 0. It is called Gauss. It is called Gauss. Now see, understand what is statement. Electric flux linked with any surface is equal to ratio of Q. What is Q? Q is charge enclosed by closed surface. Q is charge enclosed by closed surface. Phi is flux. Passing from this surface and Q is charged and closed by this surface. So, what is Q? Q is charged and closed by closed surface. Then, how to define flux? Electric flux linked with any surface is, is ratio of total charge and closed by closed surface to epsilon. Electric flux to closed surface, phi is equal to Q upon epsilon 0. Q is total charge enclosed by closed surface, charge inside the surface, charge inside the surface. No, total electric flux to a closed surface is 0 if no charge is enclosed by the surface. If total charge inside surface is 0, means Q is equal to 0, then phi is equal to phi is equal to z. Okay. So, it is Gauss law. It is Gauss law. See, phi flux is equal to integration e dot dx. We know this equation. Phi is equal to sigma q upon epsilon 0. Phi sigma q total charge enclosed by closed surface. So, phi is equal to sigma u upon epsilon 0. If we combine these two equations, integration e dot ds is equal to sigma u upon epsilon 0. Okay. According to data, you have to use these two equations. Okay. Now, what is Gauss law? Okay. Electric flux phi is equal to sigma u upon epsilon 0. You have to know some important points regarding this. See, first. It is true for any closed surface, no matter what is shape or size. No matter what is shape or size, for any shape or size, you can apply it also. Second, the term sigma q on the right side of equation includes the sum of all charges enclosed by the surface. Enclosed by the surface. The charges may be located anywhere inside the surface. See, remember, sigma q is addition of charges inside closed surface, inside closed surface, not outside. Okay. Third point, electric field is due to all charges, both inside and outside. In this term, electric field, it is due to all charges. Charges will be inside or outside. Fourth point, the surface that we choose for the application of Gauss's law is called Gaussian surface. You may choose any Gaussian surface. To apply Gauss's law, we have to select, we have to choose one Gaussian surface. That surface is called Gaussian surface. And we are free to choose any Gaussian surface. Fifth one, it is useful to calculate field when the system has some symmetry. 
when the system has some symmetry. Symmetry means what? If you are given a long wire having uniform charge distribution, if you are given a plain sheet having uniform charge distribution, if you are given sphere, if you are given shell with uniform charge distribution, then such such systems have some symmetry. And due to such symmetrical charge distribution, you can easily find electric field with the help of Gauss. Okay. Fifth or uh, sixth one. It is based on inverse square dependence on distance. It is based on inverse square dependence on distance. How? How? Gauss law. Sigma q upon epsilon zero. We have proved with the help of this equation. Electric field E. It is proved with the help of Coulomb's. Okay. So it is based on inverse square dependence on distance. So these are some points. These are some points. They are related to Gauss. Okay. Now see, we are taking one example. Take this example. It is one closed system having charges q1, q2, q3, q4, q5, and q6. Okay. To apply also, phi is equal to sigma q upon epsilon zero. But sigma q is total charge imposed by Gauss surface. Sigma q is equal to Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, you are given 6 charges. But what is sigma U? Total charge enclosed by Gaussian surface. So sigma U is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q4 plus Q6. Only charges within closed surface. Okay. But electric field is due to all charges. Electric field we have to find due to all charges. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, and Q6. Another if it is on closed surface, two charges are there. Plus 10 microcoulomb and minus 10 microcoulomb. See, what is total charge of the system? Sigma u. Sigma u is equal to zero because one is positive and other is negative. So total charge is zero. It means flux passing from this surface is also zero. Is also zero. So it is about Gauss law. Now in next lecture, we will study application of Write down this from all on your notebook and you have to send notes on my personal WhatsApp number for other school students. You have to send notes to your respective subject teachers. Thank you.